Good evening, uh, Matt. 118 elementary stat. So I want to point a couple things out and hopefully give you more information so that you can finish the investigation that we uh, that I cut short uh, last Monday night. Um, and if this is a future viewing, just ignore all that information. So a couple things in the email uh, that the link to this video is accompanying. Uh, there are there are actually a couple of links. First, there's a link to the introduction to, introduction to statistical investigations video index. So for our textbook, there are a stack of these videos, okay, a stack of videos that we that you can use, we can use, whatever, um, to further understand concepts, ideas, and work through some of the things that we need to understand. So I'm providing this to you now uh, so that you can take a look at it. Uh, today, tomorrow, uh, weekend, and then uh, come Monday uh, or next class, um, we'll be having a quiz, etc. And uh, going through the homework and such. So remember, at least for uh, fall of 2019, have your homework typed up so that we can go over it, do the corrections, etc. So uh, it's organized by chapter. Again, uh, fall 2019 we just covered chapter p so you can go back and look at that for review uh, to get some of the concepts so follow the link to the videos additionally there's going to be a link to this page the rossman chance applet collection it originates from well, that's not exactly where i was trying to go but we're going through all my history let's just hold this down and see where i went okay That's freezing up. And it should be this page. Yeah, so there'll be a link to this page. This is a whole bunch of, this is a collection of applications, web applications, that the author either gathered or created or had somebody create whatnot uh, to use. Uh, if you recall, I was uh, what I was looking for was the correct application to use for our situation. And I was envisioning our situation to be uh, setting up a probability of one third winning because that's where we're at with the investigation. Uh, there is not one that I could foresee that does that for us all in one little package. You'd have to fiddle around with it. So I believe the easiest way to consider how to start or complete the investigation starting where we left off is by using the Monty Hall uh, probability application. And so here's what it looks like, the Monty Hall game. Of course, we didn't call it the Monty Hall game, we called it the card goat thing, and we had the cards in the classroom, correct? So uh, let me further explain. The Monty Hall problem, and I think s one of the students, I won't say my name, because again, if this video is used in the future, uh, I don't want it to be that, that specific, I already made that problematic to some extent uh, at this point. So the Monty Hall problem, this is just in Wikipedia, more than likely even years from now, it's not gonna change drastically because there's some history here. But in the game show, Let's Make a Deal, which this didn't actually originate, but it was popularized through that game. You would choose one of three doors, of which one of the doors uh, covered a car, or not maybe not the whole car, but um, you could win a car. And so you would select one of the doors. At this point in time, we do nothing more with the game. So that's why we're calling calling it card and go. Excuse me, car and goat, because all we want to do first to investigate is what is the probability of me choosing the car one out of those three doors. Now in class we sorted that out, and then we got jammed up and we said, okay, but we want to do a thousand. So we don't want to count a thousand trials out of this deck of cards because we'd be sitting there forever especially if we did a thousand for each of the pairs of you yeah we would be we we might well we probably still wouldn't be there but we would have been there quite a bit maybe even past two o'clock in the morning right so we want to simulate that here's where we can simulate this but you have to understand where our simulation ends and where it turns into the monty hall problem because this application is made specifically for the monty hall problem but we can choose a setting so that it simulates our car goat goat game. So here's the car goat goat game. Down here, there's a little drop down box. You can say stay 
or switch. Now in the Monty Hall game, it's it's basically saying because the way the way the let's make a deal worked and this this thought experiment works historically is I choose a door. Let's say I choose door two. Okay, so I chose door two, and notice how it automatically opens one of the doors and ex displays a goat, because after we choose something, the guy, his name was Monty Hall, he would ask the contestant, the game show contestant, do you want to stay with the door that you selected? Well, I selected two, that's why it says stay, right? Oops, I don't know what's going on there. I, I actually hit the right click, I think. So we would, if we were to stay, keep the door that we chose, we would keep this door. If we wanted to switch the door that we chose, we would switch this one because Monty Hall would show us one of the doors that we did not choose. So that would be this one or that one. And behind it would be a goat all the time. So in other words, if we chose this door and behind it is a goat, we would lose because we didn't get the car. And over here, the car would be behind this door. But if Monty Hall is always going to expose a door with a goat, he couldn't have chosen this one. He'd have to choose this one. So here he has exposed it to us, right? So clearly, if we, if we were playing the game full out, we would want to switch. If we stayed, we would lose. If this was the car, Monty Hall could have chosen to expose this door or that one. It does not matter. But he's still going to show us a goat. So that's why this software program shows us a goat. Uh, before we even talk about staying or switching. Now, we would continue on if we were doing the full Monty Hall game or thought experiment, and we would choose to either stay or switch. And it would count how many times we stayed, how many times we switched. But remember, in our investigation, we have not yet gotten to that point to discuss that. And if we were in class, I could explain explain it like the way I'm explaining it now. And I already apologize. This video is going to be longer than I desired. So please sit and listen, pay attention, bear with, take notes. So at this point, we just want to experiment. We want to do a number of trials where we don't change anything. We're going to play with the idea that we chose a door and we didn't change anything else. We'll stick with the door. So we're always going to choose stay no matter what. Okay? We're always going to choose stay. And so if we do this one time, we're going to, um, oh, this here. We're going to do, let's say we're going to do it uh, one time, okay? And so I'm going to hit go. It's going to finish this one trial, okay? Oh, it's that's doing it automatically. We would have had to hit switch or stay to do the f first one. So let's clear this. Let's, uh, where does it go? Reset, 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 reset. There's a reset button somewhere. Oh, maybe that was it. Okay, so now we're, uh, oh, here it is. I couldn't find the reset button. So now we're going to start over. So again, we're just playing with, I'm going to choose one and we'll see if I won or not. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm not going to worry about stay or switch. I'm always going to stay. And so did I win or did I not? So I'm always going to play, pick stay. There's stay. So um, I have 100% losses. I have one loss. Uh, it seems weird because I, I blew up the screen, so I'm going to bring it down one step so it'll line up. It's not lining up anyway, is it? Yeah, it's not. So let's just keep move it big. All right, so I want to play again. So I'm going to play again. I'm going to choose the first door. He showed us that one. Do I want to stay or want to switch? At this point in time, we're always going to hit stay. So I lost twice. Play again. Resets it. I'm going to choose door three. I'm going to stay because, again, we're always going to stay for now. And I lost three times. I lost three times out of three. So I have a 0% chance of winning so far. That's what I've executed. Play again. Lost. 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 Play again. Wow, what is happening? Hey, I finally won. So we won one out of 13. That is not the way it's supposed to go, correct? But we've only had 13 trials, 14 now, 15. So now this is at the point where, okay, we wanna do this a whole bunch of times. So we're gonna reset, but we wanna, I don't wanna sit there and click it, right? 
So if we don't want to click it, we're going to change this and set it to 100, let's say. Okay. And to turn to make this so it just plows through and does all the numbers, I'm going to turn off the animation. Okay. And I'm going to say go. Notice I choose to stay. It's going to do exactly what I was doing. It's going to stay every time. So we're going to get a true representation of one win out of three choices. And what do we end up getting? We get 38% wins, 62% losses. So as you know, theoretically, when you answered those questions, I believe, I hope, everyone chose that it would be one third. We discussed it in class. One third chance of winning. So I'm doing pretty well. If I was at a casino, I should go home right now. So let's increase the number of trials. So I'm going to say 1,000. And this is where we stopped class and I sent you guys home. So now we have 1,000. But again, I don't want to do that manually. I just want to crank it out. So we're going to have 1,000 plus that 100, original 100. So we're going to have 1,100 when I finish this. And it's just cranking through them. And notice the number getting close to 34, 33, and it was bouncing back and forth. And it's climbing up again, strangely, but it dropped back down again. Dropped back down, you know, blipped to 33. Now it's up to 35. Wow. <laughs> 34, 35. That's strange that it's even 35, 65. Let's do another 1,000 and see what happens because this is just weird that it's that high. It should be much closer to 33. But here's the thing. You're going to be doing this on your own, and you might get completely different results, but it shouldn't be that far. It shouldn't be far off. It should be 35, 36, 32, 33, 34, and 66, 67, right? And we should get 2,100. I think it'll stop, right? Yeah. So 34, which maybe it's rounding. Maybe it's 33. 3.5 and so we're pretty darn close 33.3 to 33.5 I don't really know we'd have to do the math take 7 718 divided by 2100 I'm not going to type to take the time to do that because I want to show you the next part now the rest of the investigation you can do right here and it discusses the uh, Monty Hall problem and what happens and you can play around with this you can see if I stay I'm, I only have one third chance of winning because it's really irrespective of whether you choose to switch or if you choose to switch, irrespective of what he shows you, he's always going to show you the GOAT. doesn't matter. You had a one-third chance of winning from the get-go, okay, from the start because you chose one out of three and you didn't change anything. It doesn't matter what he shows you, doesn't show you. We didn't change anything, right, because we st stuck with stay. Later on in the investigation, you're going to choose this and you're going to run it a whole bunch of times to see what happens. And then we'll talk about it again, close this whole chapter P up on Monday. If you have any questions whatsoever, email them to me, all right? I've only gotten, I think, two questions, one having to do with the textbook, and I have to respond to that individual tomorrow morning because I'm heading to bed and uh, after I process this. And then uh, somebody else asked me something, I forget what it was, but I have the email open and I'll answer it tomorrow morning, all right? So thank you for your patience. Uh, take a look at the calendar. That's what we're going to do. Um, we'll have the quiz tomorrow. If I have to alter it, we will since we didn't cover that much. And even though you have no evidence of this, please understand in every effort that I'm making, I'm focusing on two aspects. One, that you have every opportunity to learn the material. And two, that I am trying to be fair. Okay? So... Um, with that, I'm going to try to close. It's already too long. I will see you on Monday and hopefully I'll get this process out to you tonight and, uh, check out those links that I'm going to send you. And again, send me questions if you have them. Thanks. Take care. Bye.